Once you've got a couple blog posts ready to go, it's time to have a place where they can actually be seen on the web. So I recommend setting up a site or a funnel. And once you've got a page set up, we can add the blog element to the site. So here I'm just gonna go and access a little demo page here that I made. And we just have a simple header at the top. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a section for the blogs to be housed. Now this can go on any of your pages, funnels or uh, websites that you've already created. You don't have to create a separate page for this if you already have one that you wanna add it to. Uh, we just need to have a placeholder that we could add it in onto uh, the, the blog element onto. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new section and we'll click add a row. So in this case, we're just gonna add one column just for this different style, but I'll show you some different uh, styles that you can add it in. We're gonna click add element. Now what we're looking for is this blog element here. This is gonna be the blog post list. So what it'll do is list out your blog post that you have that you've already set up. So we're gonna click blog post list and we're gonna drag it in. Now, when you first drag this in, it's gonna put some demo data in here. It's gonna have like uh, a gray image here. Please note, it's actually gonna pull the information from your blogs and add it to the site. Uh, it's not gonna actually uh, put this demo information in. This is just for design purposes. It's gonna pull the blogs that you already have on the system. So once you drag in that element, there's a couple of things that we can edit on it. We can change it from the standard layout, which is gonna put three blogs in a row, or the compact layout, what's gonna stack them on top of each other. You can also add how many blogs you want on that page. So you can select the number, and you can also customize this button down here. So right now it's stock, we just have a gray border. It says more stories on it, but we can change the text. So this could say more blogs if we want. We could also change the color of the button. So let's just select red. We can change the button text color. So right now it's gray, let's change that to white. And we can also change the border color. So let's just change that to black. So here, now we've got our blog element set up. Now, once you save the site, what you can do is preview, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull the information that you have out there. So we made a demo blog in an earlier video. Uh, so let's just go and preview it. And as you can see, we just stacked it up. So now it's pulling the blog post on to the site. Now you'll notice that uh, we titled it sample blog post. We had a short description here, uh, and then also uh, the image that we uploaded for that blog. So it's gonna tap into that information and pop that in uh, from there. So we only have one blog post uh, actually published. If we had more blog posts, it would just stack them on top. Um, so as you can see, you know we can change the style. So let's change it over to standard here, and we'll save that and then we'll preview what that looks like here. So now you can see it's pulling that information and displaying it there. If we had more blog posts, it would post them uh, right next to this. So that's how you add a blog to a website or a funnel.